Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you all so much for tuning in today. Um, so I was looking through my old folders um, where I have a lot of my old videos stored and I realized that I actually had gone to this amazing antique fair. It's called, I think, the Alameda Antique Fair. It's in the San Francisco Bay Area. And um, I had recorded a bunch of cute little like clips of myself shopping at the antique fair and all the cool stuff you can see there. And I actually brought home a lot of items. I bought some frames for myself and some cute little gifts for my girl at Realm XX, you guys might know her. And so I thought since I had the footage and I had the products with me, um, I just filmed a mini haul of everything I got and I'm just gonna like share with you guys some of the clips of the antique fair. It's super fun and I think for those of you who love antiques or just cute little ornate things or frames, um, I think you guys will really enjoy this one. This one is gorgeous, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're still antique shopping. It's been like two hours. We're still going strong and not dying yet. Got some cute little stuff, cute little presents for Christmas and uh, still looking for frames as always. I'm perpetually in a state of looking for frames and uh, we took a little break, got some sorbet, no, uh, it's a creamsicle, creamsicle shake, with custard, mm. it's so good, look at this frame, oh my gosh, this frame and the painting inside of it are so gorgeous. Get the etchings on this one. Let's get up close. Look at all these beautiful old etchings. This is an antique fair that has no visible end. I've been here for three and a half hours and I feel like I haven't even seen half. Up with everything. It's crazy. It's huge. Oh, so we finally left the antique fair. It is so hot right now. My face is melting off and we are exhausted. We are the shells of who we once were. <laughs> we're empty soulless shells now. But we got some great stuff. First up we have this cute little basket looking thing um, I'm not actually sure exactly what it is and even the lady who sold it to me said that she didn't really know for sure but we guessed that it might have been an ashtray it's from the 50s and it comes with this little glass saucer here so it possibly was an ashtray but I think it would actually be really cute if it was repurposed to hold makeup or paints or mediums, anything like that. And it's got these beautiful ornate etchings on the side and adorable little cupids. Super cute. <laughs> Next, 
we have this lovely cup and saucer set. It'd be perfect for afternoon tea or breakfast tea or honestly just a beautiful decoration for any room or kitchen. I love the flower um, decorations here and the gold trim and the really ornate curly handle. And what I also love is that it's got a really, it's not round on the, on the bottom. It's kind of like a nice, I can't even describe the shape, but it's like a very frilly shape. And what's great is the saucer matches it as well. See, it's not a round shape. Um, it just looks super delicate and it's made of real porcelain. And yeah, I think it's a beautiful girly set. And for anyone who loves antiques, especially that look Victorian, this is a very cute set. This one is one of my favorites. It is a very girly, very um, nostalgic, like it's from childhood, little music box. The etchings on here are so fancy. It just reminds me almost of Marie Antoinette and Versailles and that whole era. I mean, every little, every last inch is filled with tiny little details and it's all it's just so interesting. Like I could get lost in looking at the details. Yeah, and it's super pink. It's got beautiful little roses and what looks like pearl embellishments. And yeah, I love also the top here. It's got just a touch of gold. And yeah, it almost reminds me of a really fancy carousel. And let's peek on the inside here. Okay, so when we peek on the inside here, we see this beautiful little pony again with more flowers it's got a really girly frilly saddle and golden mane um, yeah it's just the whole thing I'm just imagining all the craftsmanship that went into making this so yeah let's give the music a try Here we have <laughs> another an ornate little box. So the one I showed before it had pink roses. This one's got purple irises and I just thought they would look cute as a set. Again, like all my other antiques, it has a beautiful gold trim and just a very Victorian-esque um, style of de decor and etchings. And yeah, the irises, I mean, if you look on the side here, they almost look lifelike in their proportions and how they jet out of the side so it almost feels like actual little irises are being preserved on this box and it is just like a tiny jewelry box that you can use to hold rings um, but you know what's funny about this actually it plays music as well so if you press the bottom like this <laughs> it plays yesterday by the Beatles <laughs> so interesting I didn't realize this until I got home and I accidentally pressed it while I was holding it. But how cute is that? Ironically, Beatles is one of my favorite bands. Actually, it's probably my favorite band of all time. So, yeah, when you open it up, there is a little mirror here. And, oh my gosh, the etchings are so pretty, especially when you look at it when it's opened. So you can put little rings, earrings, candy, whatever you want in here. It's a beautiful, cute little girly box. And last but not least, we have these two frames. I got them from different vendors, but I thought they looked very similar. So 
I put them together in this video. Um, they both measure around 11 by 14. I think this one might be 12 by 16. And oh my gosh, I love the etchings here. Um, they're a little bit more simple and not quite as ornate as you know what I'm used to. They're not quite Victorian. But I love that it's almost this like faded gray and it's got like a hint of teal. And it has these gold it's it's more like a gold embellishment rather than being a purely gold frame and it just gives that that really rustic um very like nostalgic feel and i also like that the frames are not super thick because i think on a smaller painting having a frame that's way too thick might overpower the painting so these two work perfectly for the types of oil paintings i want to do i love the color but i also feel like they have a lot of potential if i want to spray paint them and you know maybe paint over the embellishment with my own colors depending on what paintings i decide to put inside of them and what the color scheme of the painting is so yeah, I love these. Okay, that's it for the video. I hope you guys liked it. And um, in case you were wondering how you can find an antique fair or flea market near you, all I did was type in into Google antique fair near San Francisco and so many different results came up so um, wherever you live whether it be you know a small town or maybe you live near a major city um, yeah just type in antique fair near like the location and I'm sure lots of cool results will come up so I hope you guys have a lovely day thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video bye